Hi everyone. Right, I've been asked to show how to make the hair like I made on the canvas. Um, and what you need um, is just, it's wire covered in paper. So what I do is I buy mine from the garden centres. Um, and this is called craft wire, but it's coated with paper. Uh, and all you do to make it is, you sometimes get them like this with a little cutter. Um, and to do the hair, what I did with mine, I folded mine in half. I got the lengths I wanted and I folded it in half and then I glued that on. Um, but what you can do is I twisted mine later um, after I'd glued it on. But what you can do if you want, you get a piece of thin wire that's firm or any, you know, a needle or something like that. You know, like a knitting needle. And you just twist it round. And that's all you do. You just twist that around. And then you can just pull it off and you can pull it out, stretch it and, and, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. And the thicker, obviously, the wire or instrument that you use, the uh, thicker the curls are. And you just continue doing that until you've got as many as you want and you can put them wherever you want them. And then you can just glue them into place. So that's really how you make them. I mean, of course... Um, just say for argument's sake, I wanted to make one that's a little bit thicker or um, larger at one end and smaller at the other. You just take out the length of wire, cut that off. Um, I'm going to start at the top where it's broader and just wrap that around. Uh, you can use just plain wire. The point is, if you use just plain wire, then uh, it's going to be harder to colour. But if you use this stuff that's got it's covered in paper, you've got yourself your coil, and it's so easy. It doesn't matter that it's you know it's uh, broader in certain sections. That's just more natural looking, and you can bend them and twist them and and do what else you want to do with them. But that's how you do it. So you need paper covered wire and ebay if you go on ebay uh, this is uh, by craft we just see if they've got a email address or something no no they've not but just put in craft wire uh, paper covered craft wire and you should be able to pick up what you need so that's how you do that um now thank you again for all your messages sorry i'm just gonna have a drink because uh, when it gets to tea time, it's my throat gets dry and my nose clogs up again. Right. Um, yeah. I'm a half coated look. But um, I was reading all you... And I do read everybody's comments. I don't always answer them because I try and, you know, get through as many as possible. And I try and answer those more important ones that, that is actually asking a question. Um, because I get that many. Uh, besides the comments, don't forget the hundreds of emails I get every day. And sifting through is quite hard work. But uh, I have more time on my hands now. I don't have the store. So I'm managing to get through some of them. But, yeah, I read every comment. Um, and I, I know you like the, the canvas how I've done it now. And it was unfortunate that the picture I did by hand, I dripped the black paint on. Otherwise, uh, I would have kept that. And I think it would have set that picture off. But I can always do another one. The thing is with mixed media, um, there's no right and wrong way to do it. And I've told you this before. So anybody debating, oh, I don't know that I could do that or whatever. Of course you can. Anybody can do it. Just pick your favourite things. Um, place. Say this is my board. Um, and I've, I just say for argument's sake, I'm just going to show you what I mean. Because sometimes it's easier on the eye. If uh, people show you what they mean. Now, just imagine I've got a picture to go on on this. This was the canvas. And I'm going to have the picture here. Um, so what I do... Now, I haven't got a picture, but I'm just saying that's it for... Let me just take that off because I don't want that on. Oh, God, that's too hard for me to do. Uh, where's my pliers? To set out a picture. That's what I'm saying. Um, and don't forget, you can change your mind as you go along. I often do. But just say, for argument's sake, I'm going to do this as a canvas. So I'm going to pop my picture there. And then I've got this huge space. Now, if I want flowers, 
if this is your picture, to balance that out, you need to start here in this corner with a large flower, then your next size flower down, and then continue. You don't have to have them straight. I would curve them around. Uh, and then you can put dew drops or beads or whatever you want to do. But do a corner section if you've got an A4 and you're doing it, land this is landscape, that way would be portrait. So start off here, biggest flower, work out the smaller ones and go down in size. You can add sprays, you can add bits of, you know, this sort of thing, wherever you want, if that's what you want to do. Um, let me just get some flowers and we'll just... We'll just take you through the process basically. Um, let's have a look. So we've got a nice big flower somewhere. We usually have some hanging about. Oh. And you know what? I never do, do I? <laughs> when I want one, I don't have one. Come on, where are you? Yep, got one. Just say for argument's sake, because and, and do match your flower, the biggest flower up for the canvas. Don't do a whacking big one. Uh, I have done that, but everything else has fallen into place. If you're new to crafting, I would suggest that you start small scale and work down. So we put our big flower there. Um, and then you can do material flowers, plastic flowers, you know, acrylic flowers. Um the next one would be um, a smaller one there, and then you do another smaller one here, or something like that. Or you could do three main flowers and then build out. In, in fact, that would be better. So let's just show you what I mean. So I would probably look oh, falling off. It'll glue back on. I would probably start off with three flowers, just like that, and then work out. And don't put them straight, wave them a little bit. So you could do that, do three of those, something like that. We'll just set this one right. You then add them to there. I'm just showing you. Um, then I might want to put um, an acrylic flower somewhere. I would place it there. Don't go placing it in the corner. Place them in different areas. Like I could do that with the acrylic flowers. Um, I've got some pearly bead that uh, I might want to drape over like that. Uh, let's have a look. I've got some bling that I want to put on, so I might sit that next to that. I've also got another piece of bling that I might want to just place here. Um... I've got a crown that I might want to sit on the frame. You know, it doesn't have to be something that everybody else does. You're doing your own thing. I've got a beautiful pearl, large pearl, um, that I might just want to put there. I can see the shape of it, the size of it, and everything. And slowly but surely, just build up your picture. Um, but before any of that gets done, what I suggest you do is your background. Um, and backgrounds are brilliant to play with. So I'm just going to move the flowers out of the way. Oops. I'll just move those. Um, with um, You need a textured background. Now, there's lots and lots of ways you can do it. If you wanted to, you could take the heavy carvable modelling paste, you could spread that all over, you could take the end of a paintbrush, and you could do a wall in sections. So just spread the paste where you want it, and just draw your wall in, brick by brick. Um, let's, let's just do it. Let's show you. It's a lot easier, because most people... Um, a visual learners. So I'm just going to get another board. I can find one. Uh, yeah, we'll do this little one. See what that is? It was just had lace on it. So what I'm going to do is chop that end off because we don't need that. Like that. 
do it that way. So we're just going to do a little quick tutorial just to show you what I mean. Now I know it's got paper on it and I'm not fussed about that whatsoever. Got my modelling paste. And get into that. I've got my tool. My spatula thing. And just, I've got that there so I'm just going to cover that basically. So I'm just going to show you something really quick basically. Like that. I oh, might want that to come down here a bit. I want a little bit over here. You like that. Um, I want a patch here, just a little bit there. And I might want a piece here. Okay. Not put it on in any particular fashion. Just whack it on. Right, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the tool, this, um, push that in, and I'm just going to draw brick, because I, I have a stencil for brickwork, but, it, you know, it's, it's not that clever, and we can just spread that on, that's nothing. Like that. So it doesn't have to be anything, you know, posh or you don't have to be careful at all. Like that. I'm going to put a brick in here. It's just to give your picture texture. Okay, so we just spread that on. That's fine. Now before I do any more to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it. And I do have the Espresso, which is the Adirondack. Spray my whole board. I also have some of the butterscotch and just where I've done the brickwork put in a little bit of that on and it's as simple as that. I made a mess of my board but I'm not bothered about that. Cleans off, it's a glass top. Right, what I'm going to do is actually, um, oh, sit still. Um, I'm just going to get a baby wipe. No point in drying it and having to scrape it off when I can wipe it off. And I use baby wipes a lot for my uh, cleaning up and that. Because these can also be used elsewhere. Like, all of that won't go to waste if I choose. Throw it in a box, and eventually I might need to use that on something. So that'll do for now. Look, you can just use that somewhere else. So let's just dry this off. Ooh, have a cup of tea. Coffee, I don't drink tea. <laughs> Already you can see it's um, textured. Looks like a wall.
the best thing is you don't have to dry that before you clean it you know before you uh, put something on it some color dry it all together saves a lot of hassle Oops, just nudge that a bit, doesn't matter. You see it's starting to bubble. Take the heat away and those bubbles will withdraw back into themselves. So just give that a couple of minutes to cool down. Uh, and while that's cooling down, let me just clear my mess up here. Um, we shall see what we're going to put on it. Um, I'm going to put this frame on, so I do need to take that bit off. I need to open that up. I'm going to take this piece off, the back in. I don't need that on. Take out that section. get rid of all this mess broke my nail doing that my nails are disgusting <laughs> keep this section because that's going to go in the back just to support the picture but I'm going to just going to just going <laughs> to yes I'm going to clean that first so I need my little tray which is where I sling all my colours now see how it's speckled that well, that's fine that's because it's a plastic it's an acrylic so I just need to dry that off as it is as quick as I can I'm 
And I'm actually just going to pop that back on the canvas. Now while that's drying that, um, I'm going to use the other colour, the matching colour that I had for butterscotch. So I'm just going to remove that, put my little tub back up and then just quickly spray it with the other colour. And you can see that, you know, two-tone type of thing. Oops. I'm not bothered about it staying in the back of that because you're not going to see much of it. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm just going to emboss that a little bit. So I need to find my embossing powders and here they are. It's just to put a bit of a sheen on that and seal that in. So what I've got is, when I can find it, oh there we go. Put some of the um let's put that there. No, hang on a minute. I'm not sure if that'll stick. Oh, it's done some, it's done some. Let's just heat that back up. It's just sealing some of the colour in and um, gives it a bit of a sheen as well. I think that's done. Now just let that cool down. So I'm just going to move that to one side. Um, that's the way we're having it. Um, I just need to get a picture, which I'm going to do next. And I put this away. Like that. Uh, 
There we go. And then, now what I've got is some bally shoes. And I, they're already gold and cream, so I'm going to keep them like that. Uh, and I'm only going to use the one. Just the one, I think. Let me see, do I just want the one? Let's take the little hook out. I don't need that. Right, I'm going to use just the one, but I'm not putting it on just yet. Right, I've got some trimming. Which, um... I'm going to use at the top like that. So I'm just going to glue that on. So don't forget, I've not planned this. Um, I'm just showing you what that you can use absolutely anything to make a picture. Absolutely anything. Like that. That's okay. And I'm also going to do some at the bottom section facing that one, so they're going to face each other. Like that. So I hope you can see this. Sorry if you can't. Like that. Yep, like that. I'm going to fix my, uh, get a picture for the frame. I'm going to use it from the Pion papers. Um, and I do like these two. So, let's just get this. Um, I'm going to fit it on like that so you can see the actual advertisement so yeah that's great for me 